A large plastic ball is dropped from the top of a tall building. Figure shows the speed time graph for the falling ball until it hits the ground. Explain in terms of forces acting on the ball why the acceleration of the ball decreases. First, we must remember how an object falls against a resistance. The only force that acts on this box at the beginning of its fall is its weight. As it starts to have a speed, it experiences some air resistance. So we say that as speed increases, the drag force on the box increases, so net force decreases and the acceleration decreases. As the ball continues to fall, its drag force increases. Again, we say that speed increases, drag increases, net force decreases, and acceleration decreases, and so on as long as this box falls. This is exactly what happens. Speed increases, drag increases, net force decreases, so acceleration decreases. We can formulate this in a simple answer. So, if he asks about why the acceleration of the ball decreases, this is because the weight of the ball is opposed by drag force by air. When speed of the ball increases, this drag force also increases. So the net force on the ball decreases. This causes the acceleration of the ball to decrease. This is the simplest answer you can say. Double I. Why the ball reaches a terminal velocity? Let's see again our diagram. As the box continues to fall, somewhere the weight downwards will equal the drag force upwards. In this case, the net force is zero. This means that the acceleration is zero and the box now will fall with constant speed. This constant speed is named the terminal velocity. You can say this as when weight downwards equal air resistance upwards, which is the drag. So now net force on the ball equals zero. So acceleration equals zero. And now the ball moves with constant speed.